Hey guys, Ponce here. And in yesterday's video, the one about finally uh, surpassing the 100,000 IP mark, I mentioned that uh, I just happened to record the, um, the the game in which I did that, the previous game. Uh, it was a ranked game, Dual Cube with uh, Sophidia, one of the, the mods from my uh, Twitch chat. Uh, very skilled diamond player. And uh, I said, in theory, I could upload this video for you guys if you want, even though it's not very good. Uh, it, at least from my perspective, like I, I didn't do a very good job that game. Uh, and most of the comments, except for one guy, <laughs> I noticed, uh, everyone else said, that, you know, they still wanted to see this. So I'm like, all right. And then I went back and reviewed the footage, and in retrospect, it's not a terrible game. It's not as bad as I make it out to seem. It's definitely, you know, it's not a good game for me by any stretch of the imagination. But um, it's all right. Now, I, I think probably the most important, or one of the more important uh, points I can make about the game from sort of my perspective is that very very early on I recognize okay my mechanics are not so good right now my map awareness especially is also really bad this is my first game of the day I haven't got my practice game and I you know I recognize myself personally I need a practice game before I usually you know do a serious rank game and I didn't do that that day um, so I kind of said to myself, okay, we're going to take it easy. Um, the rest of my team is doing well. I don't need to hard carry this game. So basically I did enough to, spoilers, skip ahead for like, you know, 30 seconds if you don't want to hear the spoilers. But basically I win my lane. I don't win it super hard. I just kind of win my lane. And um, I don't push the issue. I could have in theory won it a lot harder, but I sort of hang back and I don't risk myself to, you know, screwing over the rest of my team who is doing well themselves. So I recognize, okay, you know, it's time for someone else to shine. I'm not playing that great. I'll just sit back and do my thing. Um, so, sort of an ego check, I suppose, you know, and knowing your own limitations. Um, so th that's one thing, at least I did well, I think, and I hope that, uh, you know, I want to point that out, I guess, because people like pointing out the things they do well. But um, moving on to things I didn't do so well. Uh, most of them I do mention, or at least consciously recognize, if not at the time after the fact, and I verbalize them. Some things I don't, you know, I just do them and I probably recognize them, but, you know, I'm just not talking all the time. So I thought it would be a good exercise for you, know, you guys, you know, kind of think in your own minds, well, what did Ponce do wrong there? Oh, he's doing something wrong right now. Um, what could have been done better in that specific scenario? Or what, what would I have done to live, or, you know, something like that. Now, there is one important thing uh, I should note is that when implementing sort of mental strategies like that, saying this could have been done or that could have been done better, um, it's very important to just sort of not be, you know, just critical of the guy who's, uh, you know, playing. Not for my sake, because, you know, I, I recognize, like I'm saying beforehand, I do a lot of stupid things this game. But, I mean, for the sake of learning from other people's mistakes, uh, doing stuff like, okay, if I had, uh, if I had been in this game, and I'm thinking to myself, watching this game right now, if I'd been there, I would have done this and then survived. Or in theory, I should have done this and survived. You have to kind of sit there and think to yourself, well, realistically speaking, had I been in this game, you know, in the heat of the moment, dealing with all these other factors going on on the map, you know, trying to see us, blah, 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 would you be able to implement this? Uh, and I, I don't mean this from an egotistical sort of perspective, but more so like... If it's not a plan that's implementable by yourself in the game, because watching the game and pointing stuff out is pretty easy. Like, I mean, I can point out stuff that's wrong with LCS gameplay, and obviously I can't do this stuff, because I'm not in the LCS. But uh, not to say that, you know, the difference between me and you is LCS, but, you know, it's just an extreme example. But, uh... <sighs> And for the sake of trying to implement plans for yourself, they have to be realistic plans. Otherwise, you know, what's the point of coming up with them? Um, or at the very least, something you can work towards um, implementing consistently. Like, for example, uh, when I first started learning the game, I w used to watch this guy called Roku. He's a Riot employee, stream, uh, uh, Riot employee right now. He used to be a streamer. And I would basically watch his gameplay. He was, um, like, pre-season one... I don't know, something about near 2,000 ELO. It was very high at the time. He, he was quite skilled. You know, he works for Riot. But so I'd watch his gameplay and go, okay, I, I kind of consciously, like, I recognize sort of a, from a mental pers Excuse me, I got an air bubble trap in my chest. I just ate some ramen. But, uh, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Roku. So I, I would kind of watch his gameplay, and I wouldn't 
be able to execute what he was doing at the time, but I understood his thought process. That was the more important thing. Okay, I know what he's doing, and when he screws up, yes, in theory, that could have been done better. I wouldn't have done better myself, but um, I'm going to work towards, you know, getting that kind of mechanical skill and, and sort of implementing those sort of thought processes. Uh, so that's all I really have to say on that matter. Oh, um, and I suppose one other thing. When implementing, uh, in theory, better strategies, uh, you, you, a trap that a lot of people fall into, I think, is um, not thinking of it in sort of a, from a multi-dimensional angle, I suppose. It's, it's like, um, let's say, for example, uh, you're watching you know, the following gameplay, and I die, and then you think to yourself, well, why didn't Ponce do this, that you know, he would have survived, or something like that. Uh, You've you got to take it one step further and say, well, if Ponce had done this, what would the enemy reacted? How would the enemy have reacted differently to this? Um, because it's not static. Like the scenario is not going to be exactly the same if you do something different. The enemy is obviously, or not obviously, but will typically react differently to it. You know, you're not facing a static AI that's going to do the same thing. If you change what you do, the uh, the context of the whole everything changes, and then the enemy is going to react to you differently. So when coming up with better strategies on how to play the game better. Also try and think about, like, okay, the enemy, if I did this, the enemy would have done this. Would my plan actually end up still being better? Um, or, from that point on, once the enemy does this, if I had reacted to that by doing this then, and then it would have ended up better, you know, it's a, it's a multi-step thing. But, in any case, I've rambled on enough about, you know, a gameplay thing you haven't even started to watch yet. So, yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter. Uh, I'll see you guys around, and probably after, shortly after uploading this video, I'll go live stream or something. So I'll see you guys around, and, uh, yeah, enjoy the game. Hey guys, Ponce here. And while I was considering what uh, video to make today, I got a ranked invite from uh, Sophidia here, our uh, fearless mod Mad Cool, as I believe the, uh, the Twitch name. But, uh... Yeah, may as well play some ranked. I haven't practiced yet today. I didn't get my practice game in, so this one might be a bit rough, but eh, whatever. It's a nice little relaxed ranked game. I'm up against a Malphite as a Trundle, which I've never done before, so it'll be a bit of a learning experience, so we'll experiment with that together. Uh, I've wanted to play Jarvan, as I normally do when I play ranked. I just spam Jarvan. But uh, this guy happened to pick him. I probably should have said something in chat that I wanted that champion, but oh well. Run over here. For sake of running over here. Who's their jungler again? Kazix, okay. I love beating. So this guy is 14 game. I, I looked him up, uh, my lane opponent, this uh, X S K A guy, X Ska. He's a f platinum. What was he? I think he was high platinum. But mid platinum, I can't remember what he was. So somewhere in platinum, but he's only 14 games in the season, so he's probably high platinum season uh, two. I would or season three, I'd imagine. So I do need to pay some attention. Don't take this too lightly. Probably gonna go for some early penetration against him. I'd imagine. I mean, he's just gonna build lots of armor, so. I'm just kind of theorizing that, you know, with my ult and uh, building early penetration, I should be able to do, uh, able to do quite well versus a Malphite. My other option was uh, the other champion I play a lot of is, uh, uh, what's that guy called? Renekton, but I went with this instead. Let's break his shield a little bit. Passive, will I make it passive so far? Oops. Clicked on the wrong thing. Oh well, I have lifesteal, so it's not really a huge deal. Ooh, I missed that one. Oh well. Just gonna use that, so I'll back off. 
Oh, first blood, that's not good. I'm gonna tank too much, so. Oh. This wave is too big for me to really do anything. Go, good enough. A little bit sloppy, but I should have just used my pot, but I didn't really think I was in danger of dying. I knew I could kind of back off, so. Mmm, this wave is going to freeze. Hopefully, yeah, okay, it's going to make it to the turret good. Just barely. Another Doran's, yeah. Pick up the early dominance. Not another pot. CS differential out. Oh. He's going to get a slight lead off of this because I missed a few early. Especially in the middle of that fight there. And uh, Jarvan took a bunch, but that's good. It'll get him ahead too. Would have been nice if I got the kill for a bit of extra gold. Oh well, oh, there's Kha'Zix. This could be trouble. We might actually turn that on. Ah, oh, no, unfortunately not. Shall we have someone with low morale on our team? Easily frazzled. Let's let that push back. A little bit, anyway. Okay, so he's just going to go ward that. There's a huge wave. I'm going to trim it down a little bit because it's too big. What? Oh, I thought I'd have enough damage. Unfortunately not. Bottom's not doing so well. Ah, damn. Almost caught him in the thing. I can kill him if I do this properly. But no, it's too risky. I can sustain better than he can. We'll just wait it out patiently. Ah, creep blocked. This can of yeah, I'm trying to life steal too much. I do need to get some of this. So unfortunately I'm not going to be saying too much, my commentary is going to be a bit low, because like I said, this is my first game of the day, it's going to be kind of rough. So I do need to concentrate a little bit on like basic stuff that shouldn't be an issue normally, but unfortunately is. Drink a pot. If he's backing, yeah, I think he'd back. He's too low and he knows I can sustain better than he can. Doesn't have a choice, so we're going to uh, push this in really fast. All right, so let's go grab some stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to get a uh, pickaxe. Yeah, let's do that. This Ezreal whines so much, he's still complaining about something. I'm on it. There's a little Blanc. Okay, so that's safe there. 
Need to be a bit careful given the presence of uh, their midliner. They seem to be fine though. So CS differential at 31 to... Okay, slight CS lead. Oh well. Don't know where they're junglers. I need to be careful for a little bit until I get a chance to place a ward. That just breaks his shield, it doesn't do anything else. Pretty sure he knows. It's not too bad overall, just kind of wasting both junglers' times. Ugh, not fast enough. Keep running into these things. Ah, man. Not quite enough, oh well. The hell is sticking around? It's interesting. Uh, it's LeBlanc. Time to leave. I drink a pot just in case. Jarwin's gonna screen for me. Making sure you get away. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just gonna make sure what Malphite's build is. I do. Yeah, he's building. He's gonna go for a Sunfire Cape, I'm pretty sure. Um, honestly, do I need that? I'm gonna sell this and then just buy some boots. My sustain is good enough. I believe both kills that happened top lane have gone to the Jarvan. That's not a terrible thing. jungler is because I've been paying too much attention to the map. That's the one problem, with, or not the one problem, but the major problem is, um, well mechanics is the obvious thing for my first game of the day where I'm just not playing too well, but um, uh, the, the thing that really concerns me is sort of map awareness. It's hard to sort of pay attention as to what's going on in other parts of the map for me personally anyway. A couple games in then it becomes a lot more, you know, natural. But, uh, I got creep blocked. That sucks. I'm out! Oof, that was close. Fortunately, I'm going to miss a whole wave there, but it's certainly better than dying. And I used up his ult, too, so there's that. Um, can't quite get that yet. Things are going well bottom lane now. So that was an alt and his ignite, so I should be able to all in fairly easily next turn. 
or next uh, time my ult is up and my ignite. Because he won't have his ult to escape. Definitely a weird matchup though. Like I said, I've never done this before. All things, all things, or I mean, considering that fact, and it's my first game of the day, it's not too bad. So hopefully no one's watching this, you know, expecting the greatest gameplay in the history of League of Legends, but I'm doing enough to do all right. I could have actually done a lot to that. Uh, my hotkeys are messed up. I forgot to change that around. Okay, there's Kha'Zix. I do a lot of damage to him. He does a lot of damage to me too, so <laughs> goes both ways. I'm kind of uneasy about where their top laner is. Top lane DC'd. Oh, there he is. His ult is probably back by now, too. I take too much damage. I gotta be careful. Yeah. Azix is up here. And now I can get, um, yeah, his ult is back by now, so I'm going to need uh, this to trade with him, effectively. I really would like some more lifesteal, too, but I guess that'll have to wait. So we know he's down there. Where are all our kills concentrated? Okay, our AD carry has a lot of kills, and I think he just bought Trinity Force, so that's a good sign. He's not going to be able to take that tower, it'll get pretty low, but... I just got a big ticket item. So you gotta, you know, you don't have to, but it, what tends to work a lot, I notice, is surprising people. You suddenly come back from the last whisper when they're building armor, it's like, wow, I take damage now, and they just don't expect it. If you, like, kind of dance around with them for a while, while you have last whisper, it gives them a chance to realize, okay, wow, I take damage now. I can't, you know, just run in like an idiot anymore. But unfortunately, they just traded bottom. That's okay. I'll be able to shred this tower now. See, look how fast Trundle eats towers. Right, this is going to be gone in the course of this wave right here. There's Malphite. I don't have my ult, but it'll be back faster than his. If I can actually take this, if it's up. I don't think it's up, but it could be. Okay, no, it's not down. Let's just put that there. If she runs this way, I can cut her off. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't get an assist for it. I thought I would. Oh, well. I have my ult again. Malphite will not have his ult. 
So that's warded. That's why he backed off like that. Honestly, I should... F if I can freeze this, it'll... I'm sure what he's attempting there. Malphite's coming back. Don't think his ult is up yet. Mid. I don't know where they are. They're junglers down there, though, so I don't need to worry about two people at once, I hope. The tribe is waiting. Team's doing well. Malphite's still missing. Very strange. Either back or he's taking his own jungle. Yeah, he's taking his own jungle. I'm on it. So this can I make a fight here? Tried to make it for an assist, but to no avail. Okay, I'll help with that. We might lose top tower as a result if they see me down here, but. Take top tower, good. Well, Ezreal seems to be in good spirits again, so that's a good sign. Alright, so I'm gonna buy this, and then from here, um, their CC is actually quite annoying, uh, and they have a lot of magic damage, so I may as well go this route this game. I don't normally like, normally, like, I'm pretty standard in my build in terms of boots anyway. Um, I like going in general, tell you when possible, but. I'll take CC reduction when it's uh, warranted. So I'm going fairly glass cannon as Trundle. Um, this is a bit dangerous, but after the next item, I'll probably start buying uh, some defensive stats. How strong is this Kha'Zix? Before you engage someone, always figure out how strong they are. Not really. I could outduel him fairly easily, especially with Ignite. No, maybe not. No, goddamn. Okay, I messed that up. I detargeted it. He stealthed exactly as I tried to ult him. I should have ulted. What I should have done is I should have ulted him first. That was a horrible mechanical misplay. Uh, if I had ulted him first, I would have had enough of the stats to live through whatever he was doing. But I screwed that up so hard. Really, really bad. Okay, so just, like, skip that part. We're going to win this game anyway, but uh, let's ignore that last play. That was terrible. I suppose it's a good chance to kind of highlight um, never go into a, a rank game raw like this. Like, I haven't played today, and I, I can really tell my, my uh, play level is very substandard. Like, I'm pretty disappointed with how I'm playing. Like, I'm still winning the lane, but that was just a, that showcased how terrible you can be in comparison to uh, what you expect of yourself if it's the first game of the day. Grab this thing. What's my CS doing? I'm on it. Also, again, I have to keep in mind without my uh, alt, I'm not actually that tanky right now because I'm building so glass cannony. Yeah, we're using glass cannon as an adjective. Glass cannony. <laughs> so I see two of the mid. 
What the? Character targeted. Well, I missed all the CS thing. That was awful. Thing is, I can beat him. I do it right, but I have to wait for him to engage me. No, this is too dangerous now. Anyone show? Whoa! Okay, that's not good. We're getting the hell out. Yeah, I suspected something was up. I just uh, I probably even should have shouldn't have checked that bush. I should have just gotten straight out. Gotten gone straight out. Ozix is there, so I'll back them up. I'll take this in the meantime, that'll work there. This is a bit dangerous what I'm doing right now. Lack of backup. Not the unnecessary ult there, but it's fine. The okay, we're not doing that, alright, that's fine. I'll exit with some golems. Jarvan looks like he's going to take care of top. So now we can start getting those tanky stats. Um, what I want is probably... Let's go with... Hmm. Let's just go with random and screw it. I don't feel like being particularly creative today. I guess I could have finished that too. Oh, oh well. I'll get that later. Randuin's first. Really wasteful in terms of uh, how I'm leaving the, the base with a thousand gold, but we'll live. Let's show him my ugly side. Our red is up. I kind of want it. Eh. I'm not heartless. I love. I was hoping with uh, my tank drain stats I'd be able to burn her down a little bit faster, but apparently not. It was fairly chunk though at least. Ooh, that almost landed. If that had landed, that would have been a kill most likely. Make sure I can get out. That's a free dragon. Ooh. Stuck. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Yeah, I tr basically, I didn't really want to fight that. I tried. What I was trying to do there was trying to get by the Ezreal even, you know, a second to do something. Uh, but it didn't quite work, and I just died along with him. So should have just left, I suppose. The Israel to his own fate. And I can almost grab that, not quite. Alright, so we're getting into a, a slightly important stage of the game. It feels like we're kind of at the cusp where we could, in theory, throw, but really, really shouldn't. So I'm going to turn commentary off for a minute. You're just going to have gameplay <laughs> for a little while now. Um, 
So I'm going to try and pay attention so I don't throw both weird positioning and strange dives. Because if I'm talking, my chances of doing that go up quite a bit. Just went out. So I'll go grab these golems or something in the meantime. So what do we have here? Character stuck. Oh, Ooh, just out. That was lucky. Um, a Kazix will one shot me, so I can't really I need some life steal first. Okay, that'll get by me enough, I think. Gonna back out? Alright. Fine by me. Let's get a little bit more gold up here and then I can go back and spend a lot. Guess <laughs> you're just gonna throw that out there, alright. Grab this. Mm, kind of want a little bit more gold, but I'll live. Hope. How much can I sell Doran's blade for? I, I should have cleared out uh, wolves, then I'd be able to sell Doran's blade and grab a giant spell. Right, I'm not supposed to do commentary anymore, am I? Always forget. This is why I don't like doing commentary when I'm not supposed to be doing it in the first place. But uh, I say I'm not going to, and then. Uh, Could be bad. Oh, shit, I got creep blocked. Yeah, that was, that was really risky by me. I wasn't really sure where the enemy team was. Like, I had an idea, but that I wasn't completely sure. Could have thrown there, I suppose. Hooray! Diving with no HP, always the best idea. Alright, so I still can't afford that, even if I sell my thing. <laughs> he went for it. Uh, they could be counter Baron office, couldn't they? That would be highly unfortunate, but... I'll be there to at least be annoying. Jarvan can be there too. They can't do it fast enough. Between the three of them... Okay, they have three there. Just tanking. If they don't tank this properly, they'll be really bad for them. Jarvan, I'm dead. 
Or rather, I'm not dead, I'm, I'm leaving. Okay, it's not a huge issue. We still have the gold lead, we just gotta be patient for a little bit. We lost top turret in the meantime. Can we drag him? I think they all backed after that. So I can get Randuins, and I'll probably get a bit of MR, I think, after that. One more wave somewhere plus selling this would do the MR, but there's no waves available with him getting that. Let's finish this off and... Negatron Cloak even worth it at this point? I don't know. Maybe I'll just get more HP. I think I might do that, yeah. No reason to fight them right now. His really is top. That so there's no surprises. The tribe is Spook her a little bit. Quite interesting. The fact that they shot that brush means they, they don't know I'm in here. At least they shouldn't, unless it was a fake. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Ran right into the Kha'zix. That sucks. One Jarvan, uh, this is really dangerous. But Jarvan, hopefully no, 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 don't do that. I wouldn't do that, Jarvan. You're gonna die. Yeah, here was the problem. Like I couldn't go straight in there, so yeah, I think we're gonna get Negatron Cloak. Even if it is, she does have, uh, she's got a Void Staff. It'll help me, because I got burst down pretty quick there. At the very least, what I was trying to do there was, I was because they were split awkwardly, by delaying their whole back line and having their team split like that, I think we ended up coming out ahead. So, I didn't, like, do too much in terms of damage. My role there felt more positional. Um, but hopefully I can accomplish a little bit more than just splitting their team and dealing some damage to their back line. I suppose if I'm going to die anyway, I would have gotten out, but I ran right into the Kha'Zix, but if I, um, it was just kind of, we walked into each other and we both looked kind of surprised for a second there, but, um, yeah, I would have been able to make it if it wasn't for that, but if I was going to die anyway, I probably should have just gone straight in. A lot of Banshee's Veils. Do they still have Baron? I would have hoped it would have worn out by now, but... She died earlier, I think, so... Let's 
can't get to the person. <laughs> right into the waiting arms in the middle block. That was really unfortunate focus there. I played that poorly too. Okay, I can't um, do commentary. All that at the same time. So I'm going to have to shut up for a bit. Actually, this time. Fortunately, the Ezreal's doing well for... Uh oh. Good job. That works. I should have stuck with the team. That was horrible. Also, I should have saved my ult for the Malphite instead of using on the own. I thought we'd boost her, burst her down a bit, uh, a bit more quickly, but wasn't the case. Red is up there too. I'm on it. They're not in there. Shit, I messed up. Ah, oh, damn it. Sucks, I can't even get near her. She does well too much damage. Oh, well, unless we burned out. I got a bunch of their GAs, I believe. I died to, yeah, mostly her. I'm not sure why, considering we all knew Baron was spawning. Weird. Sell this and grab some more health, I think. Yeah, I messed up. I probably would have uh, lived through that if I'd used my ult properly, but I used it on a Banshee's Veil. I forgot Banshee's Veil even cancels ults. It's just really dumb. We can end it, but let me take two and hit this if we're careful and don't get. We just gave up. All right. Dead. 
did. He died instantly. I'm gonna protect the Ezreal. Apparently incapable of doing more complicated tasks today, so. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, I'm trying to avoid the traps every time I just end up walking. Let's take this. Shred it down. So yeah, kind of an unfortunate game there, but at the very least, I think... What the hell? It's not going. Um, there we go. Victory. <laughs> at the very least, we kind of showcased why you need to do a practice game before you go right into rank, because that was pretty bad by me. I mean, it wasn't the worst game I've ever played, but by no stretch of the imagination was it uh, the best. So, yeah. Mediocre laning phase followed up by mediocre uh, decision-making in team fights. But in any case, that was uh, me dual king with the Sophidia, uh, very skilled player. So thank you for the support there. And uh, I'll see you guys around. I don't know if I'll use this video or not, but uh, at least it'll showcase just kind of a general, relaxed, average game. So yeah, that's it for me. Um, I'll probably go stream now or something. See you guys around.